हेलो एवरीवन इन माय लास्ट वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन टू इंटरनेट सिक्योरिटी कॉन्सेप्ट्स एंड दोज आर फर्स्ट वन इज यूजिंग स्ट्रॉन्ग पासवर्ड एंड सेकंड वन इज यूजिंग इनक्रिप्शन सॉफ्टवेयर इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन रिमेनिंग इंटरनेट सिक्योरिटी कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑफ सेशन एट इंटरनेट सिक्योरिटी एंड इन दिस फर्स्ट इज कीपिंग यूजर एंड पासवर्ड प्राइवेट so first of all what are username and password so whenever you want to access our email account or social networking site account or net banking account or some other account on the internet so there just to access that account we have to provide username and password and then only we are able to access our account now if we are sharing our username and password of any type of account with someone so that person is also able to access our account and can misuse it that's why we should not share our user and password of any type of account with anyone and the second one is that whenever we are entering user and password in the web browser so there after entering user and password we are getting one pop up from the browser and that pop up is asking for saving user and password now if we are using our personal computer so there we can save our user and password with the web browser and in that case next time we will not have to type our user and password to access the same account it will be entered automatically by the web browser and we can directly access our account but whenever we are using a computer of shared environment like computer which is in internet cafe or in computer lab so there if we are saving our user and password with the web browser then as we leave the system someone else will sit on the same system and thereafter user and password will get entered of our account by the web browser for someone else also and thereafter that person can access our account and can misuse it so that's why whenever we are using a computer of shared environment such as computer of computer lab or of internet cafe there whenever we are getting pop up for saving our user and password with the web browser so we should not click on save option because if we save it then someone else can access our account because it will be automatically filled by web browser and in that case we will have to face some issue or trouble so that's why we should not save our user and password with the computer which is in shared environment so this is the first internet security concept of today's video now next one is registering with websites now whenever we are accessing services of a website so there before accessing services of that website we have to first of all go for sign up and then sign in now during sign up we are providing our personal details so first of all before providing our personal details during the sign up we should check privacy policy that how that website is going to keep our personal details or how that website is going to use our personal details and if we feel safe there then only we should go for the sign up or registration otherwise we should skip sign up or registration there and if website is not permitting to access its services then we should skip or close that website also so that is registering with website so before registering always check privacy policy and if we are feeling safe then only just go for the registration otherwise just close registration there and close that website also now next one is do not share personal information so this is also related to the previous point only that whenever we are accessing services of a website so first of all we have to go for sign up and during sign up we are providing our personal details there such as our name gender age email address school name etc now when we are providing these personal details so if that website is proper and providing or using enough method to keep our details secure then only we should go for the registration or sign up and we should provide our personal details there and if we are feeling that website is not going to keep our details securely and can share those details with the unauthorized user or with someone else and thereafter that person can use our email address to send us emails or spams so in that case we should not provide our details on such website and we should close that website so that is why whenever we are sharing our personal details during the sign up or registration process first of all just check that website is trustable or not that website is going to keep our details securely or not and if we are feeling that website is not going to keep our details securely or our personal details can be misused there so don't go for the registration or sign up or don't provide personal details there and just simply skip this step so we will not face any kind of issue in that situation because when we are providing our details for example phone number or 
email address so they will send some messages or emails and those messages and emails first of all may disturb us and the second one is that email or messages may ask for our bank account details or for some other details and if we provide about details in that case we will have to face more problems so that's why don't go for registration on the website those are not trustable now next one is secure transaction now in the last session we have seen that whenever we are booking a ticket in bus by using red bus type of portal or whenever we are booking a ticket in train of indian railway or whenever we are going for the online shopping by using flipkart or amazon type of online shopping store so we are always not getting cash and delivery options we have to sometimes pay for that online also by using our credit card debit card or net banking or e wallet details now what is happening that when we are providing our credit card or debit card or net banking or e-wallet details for the online payment so these details are first of all we are entering on the web browser and thereafter these details as we are clicking on the submit or click pay option are moving from our computer to server now this is the responsibility of that website just to keep all these details of our debit card or credit card or whatever details we are using during the online payment completely secure because if someone else is able to access these details then that person can use our debit card or credit card details and can do transactions also in this way we will face financial loss so that's why whenever we are going for the online payment first of all just check that website is going to keep our debit card or credit card details completely secure or not and proper method is used for transfer of these details from our computer to server or not because if someone else is able to access then we will have to face financial loss now for this purpose digital certificates are given to such websites and how can we know that digital certificate is given to a particular website so if we are getting golden padlock icon before url of the website in the address bar so we can say that this website is going to keep our online payment it is completely secure and we will not face any kind of financial issue or problem in the same manner if we are getting https in place of http before url of the website so that means hypertext transfer protocol secure means enough methods are used to keep our online payment details completely secure in that case also we will not face any kind of issue so whenever we are going for the online payment first of all just check that before url of the website we are getting golden padlock icon or not or we are getting https or not so if we are getting golden padlock icon or https so on such website we can complete online payment we can provide debit card or credit card or net banking or e-wallet details for the payment because there enough methods are used to keep our these details completely secure and we will not face any kind of problem in that case so this is secure transaction now next one is use antivirus and anti-spyware software first of all virus and spyware are the programs and these programs without our consent are entering in our computer system and thereafter doing some malfunction means occupying our computer storage device or occupying random access memory or damaging our computer files or sending some important information from our computer system to someone else so just to keep our computer free from such kind of programs we have to install antivirus and anti-spyware softwares in our computer system so if we want to keep our computer free from virus programs so we have to download and install antivirus software in our computer system because it is capable to detect and remove virus programs from the computer system and if we want to keep our computer free from programs those are sending information from our computer to someone without our consent so those actually are called spywares and just to keep our computer free from spywares we have to download and install anti-spyware software because anti-spyware software is capable to detect and remove spyware software and in this way our important information or confidential information will not move from our computer to somewhere else without our consent now example of spyware here is given that is key loggers so actually whenever we are going for the online payment there we are providing our debit card or credit card details or net banking or e-wallet details and what is happening that as we are pressing keys of keyboard for providing debit card or credit card details so this key logger program is capable to maintain details of all key strokes those we are providing during credit card or debit card details and as we are clicking on submit or click pay option 
these details are actually sent by keylogger program to someone and there after that person can use all the details of credit card or debit card and can do the transaction so that's why we should keep our computer free from such keylogger spywares and for that we have to download and install anti spyware software in our computer system now next one is anti virus and anti spyware software installation is not enough we always have to update these softwares also because every day new viruses or spywares are coming and as per new virus and as spywares software companies those are developing these anti virus and anti spywares are upgrading their product also so just to get that updated version of anti virus and anti spyware we also have to upgrade or update these softwares in our computer system so our anti virus and anti spyware will be able to detect and remove new viruses and spywares also from the computer system so this is this internet security concept now next one is do not immediately respond to mails from unknown users so in our inbox we can easily notice emails from unknown people and we should not actually respond to such emails because these emails are generally announcing about some prize money or lottery which actually we did not apply and if we respond to such emails so these emails are actually then asking for our bank account details or our personal details and if we are sharing our bank account details then they can do the transaction and in that way we will face some financial issue and if we are providing our personal details to such emails so we are actually compromising our personal identity so that's why whenever we are getting email from unknown users so we should not respond because actually whatever they are offering by those emails we are not getting that but instead of that we are facing some issue always after that with such emails we are getting sometime attached files also so that attached file we should not download in our computer system because with that attached file virus program may be there or spyware program may be there and as we download that attached file is spyware or virus program may enter in our computer system and will start its function and in that situation we will not be able to use our computer system effectively so that's why do not respond to emails those we are getting from unknown users as well as don't download attached files those we are getting in such emails next one is clear browser cookies frequently now first of all just understand what are cookies so whenever actually we are opening a website in our web browser so those websites are automatically creating one file in the web browser and these files are keeping details such as sign in or what actually activities we are doing on that website and if we are going for online shopping then what product we are searching and thereafter if we are going for the online payment then these files are actually keeping details of our credit card or debit card details also so such files those are created by websites whenever we are visiting a particular website automatically created in the web browser so these files are only called cookies now these files are not completely or these cookies are not completely secure because other websites or someone has easily able to access these files or cookies and can access details of our sign in or can also access details of our credit card or debit card so as these files are not completely secure so that's why we should frequently delete these files or cookies from the web browser so someone as will not be able to access these files and our sign in or credit card or debit card details will not get compromised or someone as will not be able to use it so that is clear browser cookies frequently now next one is keep the operating system and software application up to date so operating system and some more programs in our computer system are responsible to keep our computer completely secure from any kind of unauthorized access so we always have to update our computer system softwares because as per the new threats of companies who are developing operating system and programs are continuously upgrading their product and just to keep that updated version of operating system and program in our computer system also we have to always upgrade these softwares in our computer system so our computer system operating system and other programs will also be capable to detect and remove new threats from the computer system so that's why upgradation of operating system and other software Yes, is always very important. Now, next one is install firewalls. Now, firewall we can consider as software or sometimes combination of both hardware and software. And firewall is actually responsible to check whatever data is moving from our computer system to outside network and whatever is coming from outside network to our computer system. And if firewall feels that something suspicious is there, means data that actually user did not ask, but still it is coming. so that will be blocked as well as if some data is moving from our computer system to outside or to the internet and if that is actually we did not send so that is also blocked by the firewall and in this way firewall is just 
keeping our computer system and computer network secure because whatever data is moving from our computer to outside as well as whatever is coming from outside to our computers everything is inspected and after inspection or checking everything then only data transmission gets complete so that's why only genuine data movement is allowed in that case and other data movement is completely blocked and in this way firewall is keeping our computer network or computer completely secure from some kind of threats after that next one is never install software from unknown sources actually whenever we are using computers so they are just to do any kind of work we need software and softwares we have to always download and install so when we are downloading a software so first of all we should check that website from which we are downloading the software is genuine or not and if we are feeling that website is completely genuine then only we should download software from that website because if we are downloading a software from a website and if we don't know that website is genuine or not so with that software we may download virus or spyware program also and thereafter they will start with their malfunction and we will not be able to use our computer effectively so that's why whenever we are downloading a software from any website first of all we should check that website is secure or not that website is genuine or not and then only we should go because if we are downloading a software from a website which is not genuine or trustable so with that software we will download virus or spyware or other malware also and in this way that malware will automatically get installed in our computer system and we will face some issue in our computer system and we will not be able to use our computer properly so that's why always install software from genuine websites only not from unknown source now next one is remove unwanted or unknown software applications so actually in our computer system we are getting one control panel option and in that control panel we can check all the softwares those we have installed in our computer system and there in that list if we are feeling that some softwares are available and those softwares are actually not installed by us so those software we should uninstall from there because that software may be spyware or some other malware and doing its function and in this way we are not able to use our computers our personal details or important information is sent from our computer to someone by those programs so those should be uninstalled immediately from the control panel so this control panel we should check frequently that which all programs are there in our computer system and if we are feeling that a particular program is not installed by us so that we should uninstall from control panel immediately so whatever malfunction it is doing that will get a stop that time on so this is remove unwanted or unknown software application now here next one is clear data stored by browser so actually browsers are storing huge amount of data one example cookies i have already explained second one that whenever we are completing sign in so after that if we are permitting keeping our user and password so if we are feeling that we are using a computer which is in shared environment or if our computer is accessed or used by someone else also so we should delete these cookies or these username and password those browser have stored because if someone else is able to access these details can misuse these details so that's why whenever we are using a computer and if someone else is also using the same computer so we should frequently delete data whatever is available there with the web browser and cookies we have to delete very frequently because these files are actually keeping very important details and if someone else is accessing these details then we have to face some problem in that case so that's why whatever data is there in the web browser that we have to always read very frequently so here this session 8 internet security is ending and next session i will start in the next video so this video i'm going to end here